When I retired four years ago, I was looking for something to occupy my time, and I encountered a volunteer seminar at the church that I go to. And that's where I first heard of SEEDS. There were two people there from SEEDS. They explained to me what the organization does. And since I had been a teacher about 35 or 40 years ago and had considered going back into it actually when I retired, I thought it might be an opportunity to give it a try. And uh, here we are four years later and I'm still doing it. I've been reading since I was three. My father taught me, and by the time I started kindergarten, they didn't know what to do with me because I'd read all the books already. And it's just it's part of me. It's so much a part of me, like breathing. So I've always wanted to help people learn to read better, and I've been wanting to do it for years and years and years. But last year when I lost my job through layoffs, um, I had decided to take an early retirement, and I saw an ad somewhere to be a tutor for Seeds of Literacy, and I thought, perfect, it's about time. So I came and took the training and been coming once a week ever since. I taught <laughs> at Avon Lake High School for 26 years. Wow. So, and I just recently retired two years ago. General. Teaching is in a classroom with anywhere from 20 to 40 people. This is a one-on-one -on -one between the student and the tutor. And in that way, it's a lot different. In a room, it's hard to see what people are picking up because you've got 40 potential students and it's hard to see what each one of them is learning and understanding when you're dealing with one person it's pretty quick to see if they're understanding what they're supposed to pick up. I enjoy being with the people and when they when you see that light bulb goes on and oh they got it they got it you know that's just very encouraging to me. There are so many wonderful stories. Um, there's a woman now um, that's working really hard and she's always so happy to see me and I'm happy to see her. I, I was disappointed she wasn't here today. And um, For me, as a teacher, I taught high school, you get no rewards, or I shouldn't say no rewards, but you know, the negative feedback of teenagers really don't want to be there <laughs> and he's smiling. <laughs> and you come in here and every day it's, you know, they're glad to see you, they're very thankful. And as a teacher, you feel really good that you're able to give back something. And I, the best was one day I walked in and um, the student was like, oh boy, you're here. <laughs> it's like, wow, that's never happened in 26 years at, at teaching high school. Though I had great students and good kids, but it, this is just a whole different thing where people want to be here, want to learn, and so it makes it nice as a tutor. The thing I guess I get the most out of, and I did a presentation for a bunch of people who were considering this and the one thing I told them that I enjoyed very much about maybe once a month you have someone who's having a hard time understanding a concept it's usually in math a lot of what we do is math and suddenly you will see in their eyes this light go on and you can appreciate that they have understood what you've been trying to explain to them maybe for the last half hour and suddenly they get it and that is something that I really get a kick out of when that happens and it's probably the reason that I keep coming back. It's wonderful when they get it and they you know and you're able to you know see them get it and they know they got it and to see them then pass tests and so that whole thing of just lots of positive reinforcement which everybody always loves to give in here. So. Yeah I enjoy it very much. I do. Investing in people, investing in the value of the people and their lives, it's just like the commercial says, priceless.